Hi, my name is Johnston Blakely with Investigative Train, bringing you another surveillance co-pilot tip. This one is about my pet peeve, film quality. A lot of investigators will turn in absolute junk like what you see here. 10% is what I find film like this. It bobs and weaves, you get sky, you get ground, it's rarely on the subject. This investigator has not been trained. They've got they've shortcutted their way into the industry and they have not come up through the trenches uh, learning from a mentor. 40% uh, of investigators film like this. For the most part, the film is the subject, but a lot of bobbing, weaving, violent motion. You don't want to turn this into your client. This is uh, very embarrassing. The jury cannot look at this for long periods of time. They'll be looking away and uh, absolutely no good. 45% of investigators, I find, film like this. Short periods of time of the camera is very good, locked right on the subject, but um, the tension span seems to go or something, and it gets shakes, it bobs and weaves. And this is acceptable for short periods of time with fast moving or uh, times when you have to get the film quick, but not for long bouts of film. This is where you want to be the 5% club, so to speak. Um, space above the head, space below the feet, just gentle movement, not much. In fact, most investigators in this category um, also, uh, when the subject is in one period, one place for long periods of time, they look for opportunities to set the camera down on a beanbag on a tripod and adjust the manual focus and exposure and white balance when there is time. So this is where you want to be. You want to avoid the 10%, 40%, and 45% club. You want to be in that 5% with good looking film that your client can watch without taking Dramamine. Now this is um, Another quality issue here, about 75% of investigators have film that looks like this because they either use the old VHS camcorders or 8mm camcorders or they run out and buy um, a camcorder without knowing what specifications they should look for. They buy a tiny 6 inch to 8 inch chip camcorders and it makes the film look horrible. This is what film should look like, uh, full of color, very sharp, good facial identification, it can be a little bit bluish when you're filming through tin there's no time to adjust the white balance often when doing surveillance so it's acceptable my name is Johnston Blakely for investigative training until next time